Proton Mail Review and Tutorial. Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this video, I'm going to review Proton Mail and show you how to use it. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and kindly go to protonmail.com or you can simply type on Google Proton Mail and just click the first link that come up or alternatively kindly click the link below the description. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed in this page. And from here, it will show you the details about this platform. And if you don't know Proton Mail, it is an encrypted email service that prioritizes user privacy and security. It was developed by scientists and engineers at CERN in Switzerland and was first launched in 2014. And using this platform, you could get free private email in which your data belongs to you as this platform respects privacy and puts people, the data, and the rules. And one of the features that this platform offers is end-to-end -end encryption in which ProtonMail encrypts email on the sender's device. It also offers an open source in which ProtonMail's code is open source which means that the community can review and verify the security and privacy aspects of the platform. Aside from that, it also offers anonymity and privacy, in which ProtonMail doesn't require any personally identifiable information to create an account. And also, this platform is user-friendly interface. And to know some of the plan that this platform offers, kindly click the pricing option on the top panel. And below here, it will show you some of the options or plan that you can avail, including Proton Pre, Main Plus, and Proton Unlimited in which by Proton free, you can avail or you can get Proton for free. And below is the corresponding benefits and feature it offers. While the main plus amounting to £3.99 and the Proton Unlimited amounting to £9.99 per month. So in those options, I'm gonna choose Proton free. By clicking on it, all you need to do is to fill out all of this required information to create your Proton account. Just enter your username, password, and repeat your password. Make sure that the password is contained at least 8 characters. And after that, just proceed by clicking Create Account button below. And you will be directed in here. While under the verification process, all you need to do is to solve for the recaptcha, which is also for security purposes. And proceed by clicking the next button below. And after that, below here, it will show you that your account has now been created. Just proceed by clicking the next button and you could also enter your recovery phone number and your recovery email address. And after that, you will be directed in this dashboard. From here, you could also sign in your Google account to automatically forward Gmail inboxes to your messages. And after that, from here, you could also select a theme that this platform offers. We have the default theme such as Proton, Snow, Carbon, Monokai, and many more. And upon selecting, just proceed by clicking the next button below. And just click get started. And from here, it will show you some of the options on the left side panel, including inbox, drops, sent, starred, more, folders, and labels. And under the inbox option, you will see here how you can protect and simplify your email, which is by discovering the privacy features that this platform offer. And you could also set up auto forwarding from Gmail. And aside from that, you can change account logins to your Proton address. In which under the inbox, you could also see here the first email that we receive, which is also from Proton. While under the drop, you will see here the list of your drop messages. While under the sent option, it will show you the list of the email that you have sent. While start option, you can see here the email address or email messages that you have been starred. And aside from that, you could also navigate the archive option, the spam option, the trash, all mails, in which by clicking on email, you will see other options that you can find on Google or Gmail, such as the recipient, the sender, and below the subject line, you could also see here the mark as read button, move to trash, move to label as, and other options in here, which is the layout is almost same as the Gmail or the Google mail. And aside from that, on the left side panel, under the folders, you could also add the folders by clicking the plus button, in which upon clicking on it, you are required to enter the folder name 
the folder location or you can set up the notification and proceed by clicking the save button. While under the labels, you could also set up labels by clicking on plus button in which you can customize the label name and the label color. Now to create an email, just click new messages on the left side panel. And from here, you will see that you can enter the recipient, email address, and of course, the subject line below. You could click CC in order to send to many email address or person, in which you could also insert your contacts. And aside from that, on the subject line, you could enter here what's your email address all about. And of course, below is the content or body of your email, in which you could also select a specific font that you want your email to look like. We have here Georgia, Ariel, Tahoma, Verdana, Times New Roman, and many more. And you could also select the font size, such as 10 pixel, 12 pixel, 14 pixel, which is the default, and many more. While under the color text, you could select either text color or background color. And aside from that, you could also set your text as bold, italic, underlined, or even enter a bullet form, a numbering, and even align your context from left, center, or align from right. And you could also input an emoji on your email address, or you could insert some of the link that you want your recipient to receive, which from here, you could enter the link type you have here, web URL, email address, or phone number. Then below, under the URL link, just paste here the link that you want to attach. And you could also customize the text to display. Then proceed by clicking the insert button. And aside from link, you could also insert an image in here. Or alternatively, you can import from your computer files by clicking the three dots and just click insert image option. In which from here, you could also add image URL or upload a picture from your computer files. And after selecting an image, just proceed by clicking attachment. And as you can see here, the image, which is PNG file type, is now being attached in your email address. But make sure that the image that you want to upload is only contained below 10 megabytes. And after customizing your email address, you can now proceed by clicking the send button below. Or alternatively, you could also schedule send when do you want people or your message to be sent. You could schedule it maybe tomorrow, a specific date, or specific day. And also, to send encrypt message, just enter your password and your password hint proceed by clicking set encryption. While by clicking the three dots below, you could see here the plain text, attach public key, request read receipt, and even set an expiration date. So that is just how basically create an email or new messages in this Proton Mail platform. And aside from that, by clicking your profile, which is located on the top right corner, you could also set your recovery praise, Proton introduction, navigate, get help option, Proton shop, or even switch or add your account and to sign out your account in this platform. So that is just the Proton Mail review and tutorial. Thank you.